Hi, I'm Karen of Karen Talbot Art, and I'm coming to you today from my studio here in Laguna Beach. Uh, a week ago, I was up in the High Sierras fishing, and um, now one week later, um, I'm back in my studio, and I, I have one finished piece um, that was especially inspired by that trip. Um, and so I wanted to make a short video to tell you a little bit about that piece and the process uh, between being on the river and being back here in the studio with us. Um, as a scientific illustrator, um, I always like to work with specimens. Um, in some cases, I'm working with specimens um, in a laboratory. Um, in some cases, I'm working with a captive live specimen. And uh, in this case, I had the real pleasure of working with a wild specimen. Um, and that also poses some particular challenges. Um, this is obviously a fish that I released. Um, and uh, so what I did was on the, on the riverbank, I made some sketches and some notes for myself. Um, about my first impressions um, of this little fish. Um, I also took a photograph um, with a digital camera and used this photograph to help me with the artwork as well. Um, and uh, later that night I, um, I took uh, this information and I put together a, a, an initial sketch um, where I tried to get the proportions right and sort of uh, pay attention to where the light was, uh, the light was reflected um, on the fish and on the hand as well. Um, once I finish this, which uh, is actually, it's just on the back of a sheet of notes um, in my sketchbook, it's the last piece of paper. Um, so I decided I wanted to transfer it to something that, um, that could eventually become a finished piece. Um, so I took um, a piece of uh, very thin parchment paper and, um, and I, I traced my initial drawing, made some corrections um, to that, uh, put graphite on the other side and then transferred it to a piece of um, hot pressed uh, heavy watercolor paper. Um, and so just trace that again and the graphite transferred right onto it. Um, once I was done with that and I have had just a pencil sketch, um, I went ahead and uh, used a piece of this same paper um, to do some color studies and really look at um, what were the colors and, and not only apply the color but wait for it to dry and see how is that shade exactly going to look on this piece of paper when it dries, because sometimes it changes a little bit. Um, and uh, so once I had uh, colored in the, the trout, um, of course using my color studies and using the photograph, um, I decided to take the, the hand that was drawn in graphite and go ahead and go over that with, um, with pen and ink. Um, and I did this in part because I really enjoy uh, some of the late 18th, early 19th century scientific illustrations that are sort of done with this convention, um, where the specimen is colored um, and then the background is, is just um, pen and ink or, or just a black and white etching. Um, the illustrators at the time did this in part um, to, uh, especially with some of the fishes, to represent that this was what the fish would look like on the bank of the river, right as it's come out of the water. These are the, the true colors of a live specimen. Um, and also in part because uh, at the time, um, it was expensive to hire colorists to hand color etchings or, or, you know, or drawings. And uh, so um, most artists, uh, not being independently wealthy, um, would, would do something similar to this style. And so, um, so I left it like this, just sort of in, in tribute to that. Um, and because I, I like that it, it calls attention um, just to, to the fish um, and you're not distracted by other things like you would be in a photograph. Um, so uh, this is my newest finished piece. Um, I hope you enjoyed hearing a little bit about the process of, of putting him together. Um, I'm Karen of Karen Talbot Art and coming to you from my studio in Laguna Beach. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them and I'll get back to you. So thanks.